If you want to buy cheap Ultimate Team coins, go and check out igvault.com and use a discount code EGHD at the checkout to get yourself 6% off your order. Yes, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get your own R9 Ronaldo on FIFA 21. So as you can see, we have a prime icon moments Ronaldo. This card is obviously the best card in the game. There is no better card, literally no better card in this game. Every pro player wants to get this player, but I'm going to show you how you can actually trade and get yourselves to a point where you can buy a card like this and actually afford it properly and build a team around that R9 Ronaldo. As you can see, this team needs a little bit of work. We've only got gold players in it, Mbappe, Neymar. These need to get upgraded to the informs and maybe some team of the seasons by the time, you know, team of the season comes around, but it's still a pretty solid looking team. The last trading video i done done so well on the channel, so I'd like to make another one and just give you some tips and tutorials and guides basically around how to make coins right now in FIFA 21 so that you don't have to spend any FIFA points or even buy any coins if you don't want to and actually just get this yourself. So on this account, no FIFA points have been spent and no coins have been bought. This has all been gotten by trading and this account is in the top 100 on the leaderboards of course all we need now is like a prime moments red hullet so what i'm going to do i'm going to break it down into five easy steps and how to trade to get yourselves to 15 million coins to actually buy a card like this so the last time i did a proper trading video we covered the most basic ways to trade you know with chem styles hunters shadows that kind of thing i've also done a full video on how to do icon trading but we're going to touch on it again because it's such an easy way to make coins in fifa So the first thing I recommend doing, and this goes for everybody, whether you have 10,000 coins, 50,000 coins, 100,000 coins, it's the easiest thing you can do right now on FIFA 21. And that is going to be marquee matchups. So let's go ahead and find ourselves the marquee matchups tab. As you can see, every single Thursday, they release four different SBCs. These SBCs are to do with what matches have been in the past and the hardest bit about marquee matchups is basically predicting which teams are going to be in the marquee matchups. Now, if we actually have a look at some of the requirements here, if we go to the Sevilla SC versus Barcelona, you can see that it requires a FC Barcelona player or Sevilla SC player. That means if you bought the cheapest from this club for like 700 coins, that's a gold player. Um, usually they go up to 1,000 coins, 1,200 coins, 1,500 coins, sometimes even more. It depends how good the SBC is and what pack you get in return, which you can see here. It's not an amazing reward so basically every single thursday morning when rival rewards come out that's when you're going to buy literally hundreds if not thousands of these cards i know people that spend literally over a million coins every single thursday and then later at 6 p.m in the same day the new marquee matchups come out and they literally make hundreds of thousands of coins from doing this method now if you're somebody that has no idea what teams are going to be in marquee matchups you can just literally go onto google and search up and just put in fifa 21 marquee matchups predictions so we can can see some predictions here for the 4th of March which is coming in a few days time now personally what you'll see here is that they predict a lot of different teams um, because obviously if they guess like 12 to 14 15 teams then they're gonna get some right so what you want to do is follow advice where they actually get it right more than not because that's how you're gonna make your money basically so shameless plug here but this is my discord and I have over 15,000 people in it so I'm trying to grow this as like a community server for FIFA stuff it's got training advice you know building teams team advice everything you need in FIFA Ultimate Team. And one of the sections is marquee matchups. So every single week we do a marquee matchups prediction, usually Monday, Tuesday. Um, so you can start buying them in early or you can just wait until Thursday morning around rivals, which is when I'd recommend doing it. So let's have a look at some of the predictions we got for this coming week. Obviously, if you're watching this video in a couple of weeks time, it won't apply to you, but I just want to give you some advice anyway. So we've got Bayern versus Dortmund, Aston Villa versus Wolves, Atletico versus Real Madrid and Juventus or Juventus versus Lazio. So not only do you get predictions on what what teams that we think are going to be in the marquee matchups we actually tell you which particular club to buy and you know what ratings to buy whether it's silver or gold what's going to give you the most profit over this marquee matchups so let's have a look at some of the past marquee matchups so this one was in january and this was the 14th so we had here a week which basically made you 140 percent profit so just to put that into perspective if you put 100,000 coins into this you would have got 240,000 coins back after ea tax as well so that's accounting for ea tax and if you're someone that has a lot more coins to spend if you put 1 million coins in you would have 2.4 million coins back in return as i said guys you can do this with 10,000 coins 50,000 coins 100,000 coins it doesn't matter this isn't budget limited if you do have more coins it's going to be more time consuming 
Now method number two, I'm doing this from like the easiest way, starting off with marquee matchups and building up a little bit more. So this one's going to be team of the week investments. So for those of you that don't know, team of the week comes around every single Wednesday. Now I'm gonna use this website called Footbin and we can actually check out the previous week's team of the week. So here it is, here is the current team of the week. Now obviously when you get your red picks from Foot Champions, the players that you really want is Ronaldo, you want Rashford, and well, that's pretty much it from this team of the week. Maybe a Handanovic, he'd be pretty good fodder, maybe might fit into some of your teams, but the other players are really good for SPC fodder. Now, what happens with this every single week when they get released at Wednesday is obviously they're gonna start off quite expensive. After what, somewhere between one and three days of being out, being released, you're gonna find 84 rated cards go down to 18, 20,000 coins. And as a few more days uh, go by and also the new team of the week comes out, that means that the old team of the week doesn't get any more supply. So what happens is that cards will go up over time. So this is more of an investment rather than a flip. So if you buy this card, hang on to it for three days, five days, maybe 10 days, something like that, you can see uh, profits as big as 50%. And this way you can actually fill up your transfer pile or your transfer list a lot quicker than if you were buying marquee matchups investments because marquee matchups investments take a long time to build them up. So I recommend doing that on a smaller budget, whereas this is really good to do on a bigger budget. So let's have a look at this current team of the week, just as an example i was buying the uh, a couple of days ago for in the low regions of about twenty-two thousand coins and now he's looking at the high ends of twenty thousand coins now this graph is quite hard to read for beginners because it's very flat and you can't really see the prices that well but you can see here or you can't see the dips very well but you can see he come out he's released in the middle 20s well the high tw middle to high 20s and then on saturday he was his lowest at about 22 to twenty-three thousand coins now yesterday they released some upgrade spcs and that obviously spurred people on to complete these SPCs and it gave these cards a meaning, a purpose in the game. So let's say you put 100,000 coins into this, a couple of days later, you should have had at least 130,000 coins. And again, if you had a million coins, you could have turned this into 1.3 million coins. Now let's actually go ahead and look at some of the team of the weeks that happened previously. So let's have a t look at team of the week 21. So we've got a player here, Coates, and he's currently going for around 30,000 coins, a little bit more on PC actually. It usually is the case on PC. There's not as many players, so therefore not as many packs get you know put into circulation. Um, but if we have a look at his graph, you could have bought this player at the low end of 20s on Thursday. Uh, if you waited for Saturday, you could have bought him at about 25,000 coins. And then obviously now a week has passed since that time period and the, the upgrade SPCs were out yesterday. You can see that he's actually going for around 30,000 coins. So again, the longer you wait with these investments, usually the more they go up in value. Now, the hardest thing about this method, and this is why it's number two and not number one, is you've got to pick the right player. You've got to pick the right rating, a good nationality, a good league. It's not that hard but obviously you want to put your coins into the one that makes the most amount of money and not one that just stays flat and barely makes any coins so that's again what we do in the discord so another shameless plug again but you guys can use this right now to make some coins if we scroll up and actually have a look at some of the investments i actually posted some investments here that have already gone up in value so if, if you have a look at these cards and buy them for this price you're not going to make well you're not going to find them for this price because they've already gone up but we can have a look at some past data when a team of the week is released you can see here these 82 rated and 81 rated they were going for about uh, 12,000 coins on the market, but you can snipe them at about 11,000 or even sometimes 10,000 coins. And after a week or so, they'll go up to 13, 14, 15,000 coins. Let's keep scrolling back to the previous week. So this was the previous week that I just showed you on Team of the Week 21. We got uh, Gomez there. I believe he's in the low 20s, so he's already gone up 5,000 coins. All of these cards, usually what happens is 82 rated or 81 rated and below, they will go for around 10 to 11,000 coins that you could pick them up at, at the cheapest point and then later on they'll go up in value. Here's some more as well. So we've got uh, Insame. Now I actually particularly remember seeing this player. Um, he was obviously going for around, you probably snipe him for about 11, 000, uh, not 11, 16,000 coins. And the thing is a matter of one week later and he was selling for about 30,000 coins. So you can almost double your coins on these investments because when they have their pack supply, it only lasts for a week. And when it's done, it's done. Um, every time they submit them into an SPC, that card never comes back onto the game. So the supply is constantly going and the demand is constantly going up. The next method is going to be 83 to 85 rated fodder. I particularly like the 83 and 84 rated. It's good for new traders, but it's also very good for experienced traders as well because the profit margins on the lower ratings is much higher, uh, but it does take more time to do it. So if you have 100,000 coins, this is perfect. I'd say anything from 100,000 up to about three to 500,000 coins. This is a great way to spend your coins and your time. If you have like millions, I'd recommend going on to number four and number five in this list. So again, what you can do is go on 
onto a website like Footbin. In the top left corner, go to cheapest players by rating. This really helps you out, figure out what the prices are for a particular rating. So as you can see, we have 83 rated cards here. You can see they're kind of going for about 1500 coins or below. And if we scroll down, we can see the 84 rated and 85 rated. So there was a, there's a massive difference there between 83 and 85 rated. A lot of SBCs this year are going, you know, are using 85 rated players. And that's why there's such a big price difference. It wasn't as big as this on FIFA 20, but obviously, you know, things change. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how to work out what price to buy these players for and when to buy them at. So let's have a look at Tadic, for example. So as you can see here, Tadic is going for about 1300 coins on PlayStation, 1200 on Xbox and 1400 on PC. Well, we don't know about PC because it hasn't got a lot of data there, but let's scroll down to the graph and try to make sense of this graph. As you can see, it's a bit squiggly. Um, you can see it at the highs that this basically means there's an SBC out that requires this card, whether that's to get chemistry of other players from this uh, league, or maybe there's an SBC that comes out or multiple SBCs that come out that require 83 rated players. So the question is, how do we know when to buy these players? At what price should I be buying? Should I wait till he gets to a thousand coins? Uh, is anything around 1500 coins, do is that good? Now the way that I'd work it out is have a look at the bottom of these spikes. So let's have a look here. Right at the bottom, you can see 1300 there on uh, PlayStation, 1200 on Xbox. And then at the top of the spike, a few days later, you're looking at about two to two and a half thousand coins. And again, it happens here down to about 1300 coins, 50 on PC but sometimes it, it goes up like the bottom of the spike is a little bit higher that ju that's just because it hasn't had enough time for there to be supply for the SPC for the since that SPC for the you know the cards to come down again so what I would say is try to aim for a, a card like this try to take like the average of the lowest point if that makes any sense so we can see here 1300 coins 1300 coins and well about 1500 coins on xbox so i know if i can get this card for let's say 1400 coins or below then i know that at some point maybe in a couple of days time or a week's time i can sell this for two and a half thousand coins that's the this is so easy to do so guys if you're watching this video right now and you know some 83 rated cards that are about 1300 coins or below like this tadic you should buy them um, it's the easiest and safest way to, well, not the safest, but very, 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 very safe. The safest way to invest in cards is to buy the discard players that might go up in value, like the marquee matchups, which we've already shown you. That's why it was number one. But this is why this is number three. It's still very easy to do. It has very, very low risk and very high reward as well. Now, if you're wondering about other ratings, let's have a look at uh, an 84 rated play. Let's take Berkey since he's at the cheapest for 84 rated. Now, if we scroll down, we should see a very similar pattern. Although, have you noticed it doesn't go up and down quite as far you know from the from the top to the bottom there's a lot more consistency in a play like this now we actually started off very very low down here for 84 rated players and the reason why is this is all to do with SBCs when the game first come out they didn't require like 84 and 85 rated for these SBCs and they didn't release SBCs often enough for it to be worth you know buying these cards but as time goes on they release more SBCs they're doing more upgrade packs and that's why these cards are going for more. So let's have a look at some of the bottom areas of this card so we can figure out what's a good time to buy a, a player like Berkey. So as we can see here, the last time it was really low was January the 23rd. You can buy him for about 4,800 coins to 5,200, well, 5,200 to 5,700. So let's just call this 5,000 to 5,500. What about this bit here? So you can see here, it's a little bit more expensive. You're closer to 6,000 coins on PlayStation. You might buy this card for 6,000 coins and then a week later it's only 5,000 coins and you've lost coins but you only lost coins if you sell that card at the wrong time so whenever you buy these investments guys make sure you keep them on the transfer list and wait for the right time to sell wait for the right SBC so just as an example with Berkey right now I would say he's not at his cheapest I wouldn't recommend buying Berkey's at 7,000 coins now that's not to say that he won't go up to 10,000 tomorrow it's all SBC dependent but if you want to stay very low risk I would say wait until he gets down to at least 6,000 coins, maybe 5,500 coins. Anywhere that kind of uh, price is perfect to buy 84 rated cards, especially a player like Berkey, just using Berkey as the live example. So there you go. That's how you buy it for the 83 rated, 84 and 85 is perfect for this. You're going to get more opportunities. You're going to get more opportunities to buy the 83 rated cards because there's much more supply. Because they're lower rated, there's more 
three rated cards in packs. Therefore, when it spikes up to two or three thousand coins, it only takes a matter of one or two days for the price to go back to rock bottom again. Whereas with these 84 and 85 rated um, players, they usually cost more because there's an SBC, like an icon SBC, that's out for seven days, two weeks, maybe a month or something like that. So that's why these cards hold a much higher value for a longer period of time. And it's harder to get them at a good deal. But when these are at an all-time low, it's very, very like obvious that they're going to go up again. So make sure you keep an eye on the market. As I said, guys, just a reminder, top left corner and go down and click on cheapest players by rating. Keep an eye on this list. 83 rated, anything below 1.5k. And for 84, anything around 6,000 coins or below is a good time to start investing in these. Next one is going to be number four and it is going to be new promo cards. So now this goes for promos that we haven't seen in FIFA before. So for example, we've got some what if cards here. As you can see, this is the first ever what if promo in FIFA, but it also goes for promos we've seen before. So for example, we've had headliners last year, uh, but headliners this year, basically when new promo cards come out, it's like team of the week. Um, people don't know how to value that card yet. Now this is much more risky because you don't know if you're buying a card for 200,000 coins and he might go down to 100,000 coins or 150 and you might lose coins so this one you need to understand FIFA and you need to understand the market much better so let's have a look at the current promo the way this promo works is it's got a live element to it now live cards go up massively have a look at Renato San Sanchez have a look at Sissoko have a look at Kessie these cards started off at two or three hundred thousand coins well maybe a little bit more for some of them but they're now well over one million coins because they are live cards and they get upgraded over time and people keep buying them and they don't want to sell them. So this what if promo is kind of similar to headliners in the sense that they do get upgraded over time. They get upgraded based on if they're a defender, if they get a clean sheet or if their club gets a clean sheet and also if they're a midfielder or attacker, if their club scores six goals in the next five games. So realistically speaking, I'd say the vast majority of these players are going to get upgraded. They're going to get a plus two to their actual overall rating. So there are a few players in here that were obviously going to sell for a lot of coins. So this Mbabu stuck out like a sore thumb. He is a very popular player in this game. Um, I've started to notice, well, we've all started to notice that people are starting to use right backs and left backs in the centre back position. Uh, so, and the main reason why is because through ball meta and uh, the left backs and right backs have more pace. Uh, so a player like, they, like this has decent strength, has good agility and balance, and they're very fast as well with good defensive stats are going to do really well. Now, Bundesliga has a lot of players this year, especially the last, I'd say last six weeks, we've had so many Bundesliga players lots of defenders Klosterman for example one of the fastest center backs if not the fastest center back in this game so when this Mbabu was released it was just so obvious that he was gonna go extinct because he had a 500,000 coin price limit so on PlayStation and PC he's extinct uh, for some reason on Xbox he's not extinct at the moment maybe when the upgrade comes in he might go extinct we don't know yet but let's have a look at how much he cost on day one so you can see here on PlayStation he was going for 469,000 coins that's the average of the day if we go to Saturday, you can see here there's 467 and he was starting to creep up and then he all of a sudden he just went extinct on Saturday. But as I said, guys, this is a much more risky way to trade. Let's have a look at some of the other players that I think are good in this promo. So we've got this player here, the midfielder, the French midfielder. If this gets upgraded to an 88 overall, his defending stats are going to go to 80 or above. His pace is going to be 80 or above. Basically, every stat here is going to be 80 or above. So if you're buying him at 100,000 coins on Xbox and PlayStation or just over that on PlayStation, it's just a no brainer Marcelo is a tricky one because obviously as I said uh, left backs and right backs are becoming more popular because of the free ball meta whereas this player here only has 75 pace so if he gets upgraded to like 78 or 79 pace from an 88 to a 90 rated I think he's going to jump up in price he's probably going to go to 150 or maybe some more than that but the problem is he has low agility low balance so I'm not really sure how he's going to fit the meta the good thing is about this card is he's Brazilian which is a good national to have and he's also from the French League which has some good links as well and I think probably the most slept on card from this promo is probably Pereira so we've got a 90 pace player here 92 dribbling 84 shooting he's got 71 defending and I think this is what people are are overlooking if this gets an upgrade to 89 you're probably looking at a plus three maybe even a plus four to his defending so if he gets 75 defending like he will fit the meta of that attacking midfielder someone like a bruno fernandez if we compare the stats of Pereira to a bruno fernandez look so 77 pace 85 dribbling 90 pace 92 dribbling 
68 defending here versus 71 defending. 80 physical versus 75 physical. 88 passing versus 88 passing. I know that this Bruno Fernandes links to players like Rashford, links to other Portuguese players, Ronaldo. So the links are better for Bruno Fernandes. But obviously, uh, the Argentinian links, you've got Martinez in the Serie A as well. You've got Gomez, uh, the other What If promo card. Like, there are some good links for this card. And I think once people see that he gets upgraded plus two, if he does get upgraded to plus two, he's going to have 90 plus in free stats. Pace dribbling and passing so this card is really slept on if you can get this card for a good deal then it will be a good investment but guys when you buy these live cards as investments this has got to be explained clearly right you might buy one for a hundred thousand coins it might dip down to eighty thousand coins but don't panic don't sell your card instantly don't get into your emotions just simply go with your idea of waiting for that upgrade and you will see profit if you pick the right cards so again in the discord we have a section called high risk flips where we show some more of the riskier ones. Uh, well, even for example, this Deli Ali uh, going for about 47,000 coins. Loads of us bought them for 47,000 coins and was selling them at about 55 to 60,000 coins. Loads of posts here on the what if cards. This is where Tyler actually said, look, I reckon this Mbabu is going to go extinct. He was going for about 440,000 coins. So actually a little bit less than what we showed you just originally there. If you bought it at 440, you could have easily sold him. Literally, you could sell that Mbabu like that because it's extinct. Now this card here as well we already shown you it was going for over a hundred thousand coins probably about 110 thousand coins so you would have made some decent profit if you bought into this but the, the profit is going to be made when that live card actually finally gets it gets the plus two boost Now, the last one, guys, in this list, number five is going to be Icon Flipping. Now, I know a lot of people have tried doing this and they haven't been successful. Um, it takes some knowledge. It takes some experience. The first few trades that you do with Icon Trading, you'll probably break even or you'll get like 1,000 coins profit. It's a process of learning. And that's why it's number five. Like this one is not easy to do straight away. Now, I actually have done a video covering how to trade with Icons. I covered it properly. It hasn't changed since that video. I've done a really in-depth video there just showing you how I would go to the 59th minute and manage to pick up trades the way you can make so many millions of coins. Now this method is fantastic for people that have 3 million coins, 4, 5 million coins. Once you get into the millions, this is where you need to understand icon trading. If you only have a matter of 100, 200, obviously you can't even afford icons. And if you have 300,000 coins, I wouldn't recommend trading with those cheap icons. The profit margins, it's not good enough. You want to be trading with cards that are more rare because that's where you get the undercuts. That's the way you get the good deal. I'll leave a link to my previous video on icon trading in the description, um, but also in my trading discord. Yes, I know I plugged it every single time, but we've done a few tutorials and one of those is uh, how to flip icons. So if you're someone that likes to read how to do certain things, we've got a tutorial on how to actually flip these icons, whether you're on Xbox, PlayStation or PC. So there we go, guys. That is how you get your own R9 Ronaldo and you get to wake up, log on to your FIFA account and have a look at this guy smiling back at you. It is a lot of, uh, it is a lot of time. I won't lie, it will take you some time. It will be for free. You won't be spending money on this game because let's face it, if you spend FIFA points on this game and you get loads of coins, you get the best players. By the time FIFA 22 comes out, all those coins get wiped. You don't get you don't get to use those players and transfer it over to the next game. Obviously, if you can get these cards for free, it's much more satisfying than using FIFA points and buying coins. But each to their own. If you want to do that, you can do it. I just thought I'd help you guys out for people that don't really want to spend. Also, I know I've plugged it enough in this video, but I just wanted to say if you want to become a premium member of the Discord where you get to ask me, uh, Tyler, and some other traders as well, like some top 100 traders, all of these questions. Because let's face it, you know, if there's a new promo that comes out and you're not sure if a player is going to go up in value, if they're a good deal, then sometimes you just want to ask somebody and have a straight up response. Then you can become a premium member. You can find out all of that information in my discord click on the membership information tab and also if you have a twitch prime you can use twitch prime and link it to this discord and you can get some more trading tips sniping filters marking matchups predictions that kind of stuff anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video thank you for watching make sure you drop a like make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you later bye bye <laughs>